John Bennett with Logic Pro X, and in today's video, we're going to talk about tuning vocals in Logic Pro X. So what I've done is I've gotten a random dude off YouTube singing Set Fire to the Rain, and we're going to play around with it. So here's what we got. But I set fire to the rain, watch it pour as I set your face. So... I thought to myself, it'd be fun to, to auto-tune this. A lot of people will just use Antares auto-tune and, you know, try to get a robotic sound. I really like the Waves plugins uh, for just about everything. So what I'll do first is go to, over to my plugins, get Waves, Waves Tune, pop it on there. And the first thing you have to do is bring it in so you play your play your uh, your track and it brings it in here but I said fire to the rain watch it pour as I set your face okay so now we have it in here you'll notice that um, this interface gives you a, a lot of granular control and the way you get an autotune sound even though this is probably gonna sound weird because that song's not supposed to be an autotune we're gonna do it anyway just for fun what you do is you select all you take your speed knob all the way to zero and your transition to zero. Now, another thing that people do when they're auto-tuning, they just leave it on chromatic. That doesn't really get the right key. So if you remember in previous videos, I talked about using mixed in key to process all my tracks. So I know exactly what key or harmonic key they're in. It's tagged in my iTunes. So in this case, to 7A is D minor. It says that in my iTunes. So I know 7A, I just come to my wheel, I know it's D minor. So I go over here, set my root to D, and I go to minor. Now you'll notice that these red, red things here, that no, nothing should ever be on those notes, meaning that if anything sung on those notes would be out of key. So let's just hear what we have so far. But I said fire to the rain, watch it pour as I set you. And I do, I just made the mistake that I always make and I put the plugin on the wrong track. That's awesome. So bear with me just a second. I actually have a copy of this up here anyway, so I, did, I was just working on this one. So let's see what is what we got. But I said fire to the rain, watch it pour as I set your face. So you can see that the plugin's doing some work and it's giving it that robotic sound. But I said fire to the rain. But I said fire. So this part here I don't like. So what you can do is come in here and you can just move these pieces. You hear how it kind of wobbled a little bit. But I said fire to the rain. Watch it pour as I Again right here. Kind of don't like that. And I think it you just want to avoid these this these red keys here. And you just I'm just clicking and dragging. But I said fire to the rain. Watch it pour as I set your face. But so that's pretty cool, right? Auto tuning using waves tune. <clears throat> Even though the song's not supposed to be auto tuned, do it anyway. Other vocal plugins that I really like to use, I will really like the, the Waves JJP vocals. So I'll go into my, my plugins and I go JJP vocals. And I'll just loop this until I get the sound I like. But I said fire to the rain, watch it fall as I set your face. But I said fire to the rain, watch 
such a far as I touch your face. Pretty cool, huh? So let's listen to the one without any processing. I'll take all the plugins off this one. This is what we had before. But I said fire to the rain. Watch it pour as I touch your face. And the one after we processed it and played around with it. But I said fire to the rain. Watch it pour as I touch your face. Pretty cool, huh? So that is using, <clears throat> excuse me, using uh, Logic Pro X to do tuning. Now, I wanted to point out something very cool here. So if I go back to this track that's not processed, solo it, and then I go up to my flex. This is actually in my workflow now. <clears throat> this would be my first step. So I go to flex pitch. You can right click on this and you can these these little bars are showing you where it's off pitch. You can right click on it, set all to perfect pitch. Isn't that ridiculous? So now listen to this. But I said fire to the rain. Watch it pour as I set your face. Now what if we do that to the one that we've already played around with? So let's go. But I said fire. Let's set this to perfect pitch. No, we gotta select all. And set this to perfect pitch. But I said fire to the rain. Watch it. Now it's kind of fighting with the uh, auto tune. So I'm actually gonna undo that. But I said fire to the rain, watch it pop. And I actually undid my JJP plugin. Let's put it back on and I'll show you that again. But I said fire to the rain, watch it pop. When I hit the undo button a couple times, I was trying to undo the pitch. It undid all my settings here. So let's do it again just so you can see. But I said fire to the rain. Watch it pour as I touch your face. But I. So we go select all, drag the speed down. And then you can move the pieces around. I'm not going to do it again, but you can. But I said fire. To the rain. That little wobble there is annoying to me. So, and you can see that we got all kinds of stuff in the wrong places. But I said fire. But I said fire. And you can move these around and play with them, but you get the idea. It's a lot of granular control, and it's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video.